The Cornu Fay range by La Cornu is a stove of great beauty. When people look at the Cornu Fay, they're always concerned about the size of the ovens. In this video, we're going to address day-to-day -day roasting, the more lean tender cuts of meat, like roast chicken, prime rib, pork tenderloin, rack of lamb, and a pork blade roast. What I'm going to show you today is that not being able to see in these ovens is really not an issue. All you have to think about is the mode, whether you're going to use the convection oven or the multifunction oven, the timing. Always remember when you roast meats, you need to allow them to rest before you carve them. So always stage the rest of your food going in so it will be ready when that meat is ready to serve. However, I can assure you, the benefits of cooking in convection and the delicious results you'll get from these powerful cornufe ovens really will make you a star when it comes to roasting. Roast chicken with roasted vegetables is definitely a Sunday night favorite for dinner. Now when it comes to roasting chickens in your cornufe oven, you will want to use the convection mode. The most important thing is when you're roasting your chickens, be sure to put the chicken on a rack in a shallow pan. That way the convection heat can circulate around the meat from the side to the center. With the chicken that I've prepared today, I've placed it on the roasting pan that came with the cornufe oven. It's a very solid black pan with a heavy grid. It's perfect for the chickens. We find that in convection that it's better just to put a skewer through the legs to balance the chicken. If you tie the legs up too tight then that heated air has trouble getting in to that final little cavity. You should allow at least one hour to roast your chicken. Again, I prefer moderate temperatures. 325, 330, at the most 350. But the more moderate the temperature, the more even the food cooks. If it's the temperature's too high, you risk overcooking the edges and undercooking the center. Remember, in the multifunction oven, you can choose one of the other modes, such as the fan assist or the broil mode, to add additional browning for the last 10 minutes of cooking if needed. If you're using the convection oven, you can just increase the temperature to 400 degrees for about 10 minutes and then it will be browned to perfection. So you've got two great ovens here. You can use one side for warming plates or platters or cooking additional side dishes. Remember the chicken has to come out and rest for about 10 minutes before you even carve it. Let the juices settle. In addition to the resting and the carving time, you have to get everything else organized. That's why I like to not hurry with the vegetables. I want those vegetables to be ready to serve when my chicken's ready to serve. In recent times, I've become so enamored with lower temperature roasting that again, I find that actually roasting the lamb at 300 or 325 for a little longer renders the fat perfectly, but it leaves the meat so incredibly tender. Rack of lamb is one of those dishes that we actually cook directly on a rimmed baking sheet. Again, the short cooking time, 30 to 35 minutes, and the rack actually creates a natural bridge, keeping the meat elevated from the pan. Of course, if you're doing several racks of lamb at one time, then you probably would need a, a deeper pan because the lamb will render a fair bit of fat. Remember, one of the benefits of your Cornufe range is that with that multifunction oven, you can add a little top heat for five minutes towards the end to get the crisping and browning that you would like. Again, with the vegetables, you can use a rimmed baking sheet that slides directly into the tray slides. You can also use the black uh, baking roasting pan that comes with the range and have several dishes in there at one time. Just pay attention, try not to have the dishes too close together, otherwise you can build up steam between the trays. So again, with two ovens, it's an absolute dream to prepare a meal. It takes a lot of stress off the cook. Because there's so little fat in pork tenderloin, if it's cooked at very high temperatures, it can dry out in the oven. Now this is definitely a time when you want to use your convection mode. We always begin by searing the pork in a nice cast iron pan. 
Once the pork has a little browning on it, then we place it in the right hand convection oven at 300 degrees. Cooking pork at this lower temperature keeps it so moist and delicious. It might take five to eight minutes longer than if you cook it at a higher temperature, but I tell you, it's absolutely worth it. If we're doing a medley of vegetables like these um, fall squash, we like to use the multifunction oven. When we cook in the multifunction oven, we have the option of using the different heating elements. So to cook the squash, I've chosen the fan assist mode. In this mode, I have heat from the top and heat from the bottom. The direct heat from the other two elements gives me the browning and the caramelization that I'm looking for. If you were doing quick cooking vegetables, say um, just some green beans and, or maybe broccoli or mushrooms, definitely those could be cooked in the same oven with the pork tenderloin. Anytime you cook different foods in convection, there's no flavor transference. Pork tenderloin is one of the few meats we cook directly on the pan as opposed to using a rack because it is so quick cooking and we don't risk the pan getting hot and leaching the moisture out of the meat. It just gets hot enough to cook it through and brown it. Now when it comes to prime rib, I am a big fan of bone-in roasts. There's just so much flavor. The other great thing about cooking a bone-in prime rib is that you have that natural arch. And when you have that natural arch, you don't have to worry about the heat of the pan pulling moisture out of the food. When we roast a large cut of meat, of course it's crucial to have the meat at room temperature if possible. There were many recipes written that suggested sear the meat at high temperatures, then cook at low temperatures. And I'm going to tell you to do exactly the opposite. If you just let the meat cook and allow that convection air to circulate around it, gently penetrating into the meat, it cooks it to perfection using the juices of the meat, and all you have to do is do the browning at the very end. If we're cooking a bone-in prime rib that's about 10 pounds, within an hour, an hour and a quarter, we should expect it to be done using a moderate temperature of 325 degrees with the Cornifay ovens. You can always use the fan assist mode in the uh, multifunction oven for additional browning and searing at the end of the cooking if needed. If you want to cook something like um, a wonderful butternut squash gratin, we like to use the regular baking mode where we have top and bottom heat in the multifunction oven. And then we could roast the potatoes and the kale or what other vegetables we have in the convection oven with the beef. Just remember that lower and slow will give you the best results. 20 pounds about two hours, so 10 pounds in the region of one hour and then check your meat close to that time to make sure that it's not overdone. We have several different types of roasting. We have the roasting of the lean tender cuts of meat that we've addressed, such as chicken, pork tenderloin, and then we have the cuts of meat that require long, slow cooking because they're so muscular that it takes time to break down. Sometimes we take the pork blade roast and instead of cooking it in the heavy pot with the tight fitting lid, we do open roast it. We do it at low temperatures, 325. This little roast here is almost five pounds and I've been cooking it for almost four hours. In addition to the meat being very tender, the skin gets nice and crispy. What I've done with this roast is, towards the end of the cooking time, I skimmed off some of the fat, and then I added in some apples and onions and prunes so I could have a delicious side dish that would be ready to serve with my pork. There are so many wonderful ways that you can use your Cornufe ovens for roasting. Just remember the mantra, lower temperatures, slightly longer cooking times will always give you better results. Mm -hmm.